Good day, Pisces, and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading for June 17th to the 23rd. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. The universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Four of Clubs, Five of Diamonds, Ten of Clubs, and, ooh, the Ten of Diamonds. Okay, so, oh, interesting, interesting. Okay, so, your general energy is the Ten of Diamonds. Uh, you can make it rain. You can be very abundant uh, financially uh, this week. Uh, very successful. Uh, but the thing is, is that you had to leave your comfort zone. You're going to have to leave your comfort zone and go through something unpleasant in order to make it rain, in order to be successful. Uh, now... Uh, this can be as small as uh, somebody wanting you to go golfing and you are really not into golfing. That would be you leaving your comfort zone. And why would you want to leave your comfort zone? Well, because you've gotten too comfortable, right? You're just standing there in still waters and nothing is really changing about your life. Your life might be perfectly fine, you know. You don't have to leave your comfort zone, all right? This is all just advice. But... Uh, the only way that we ever, our lives ever change or that we succeed more in our lives is if we leave our comfort zone and go through a little unpleasantness. Uh, and by doing so, it's going to lead you to success. So how how is going golfing going to lead you to success? Well, uh, one, you could meet somebody that offers you a new job or something, or maybe you have like a business plan and you meet somebody that would be interested in funding it. Uh, two, it could be... You just have an ideal, you know, out there that helps you. Maybe it helps you uh, make, make work easily, easier, and that makes you more successful or whatever. Lots of different things can happen uh, just by leaving your comfort zone, even the teeniest, tiniest bit, okay? Uh, the beginning of the week, you have the four of clubs. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, you need to uh, celebrate your life. You know, you are blessed. You need to realize what you're blessed with because at this point in time, you're probably working hard, like overly working to get the things that you want. And what you need to do is you need to realize that you have what you need and your wants will always be there or there will always be new wants to have, okay? What you need to do right now is you need to rest. You need to take a break uh, from overworking, from overdoing it, whatever it is that you do, and uh, chill for a minute, you know, and, and be, celebrate what you're already blessed with. Roof over your head, food in your belly, good job, whatever it may be, everybody has... Uh, something to be to celebrate a blessing there's always a blessing to celebrate in everybody's life even if it's the tiniest thing celebrate that um and by doing so you know you can rest and 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 not worry about the things that you want uh yeah definitely don't worry about the things that you want because here in the middle of the week uh you got the five of diamonds now this is going to counterdict the ten of diamonds because this is financial loss so you're going to have some financial loss in the middle of the week. It's going to be a bit of a struggle, but it's temporary. You will recover all loss, obviously, because of the Ten of Diamonds. But remember, the Ten of Diamonds does not happen unless you leave your comfort zone. And perhaps this financial loss kind of forces you out of your comfort zone and, and makes you leave your comfort zone in order to make it rain to make up this financial loss. Uh, so that might just be the shove that you need uh, to go through that unpleasantness uh, to get back uh, what what you've lost in the middle of the week. Uh, at the end of the week, uh, you're fed up. There's a burden that you're fed up with. So uh, this burden can be something that's been burdening you for years, months, weeks, or it could just be this day. It could just be a burden uh, on this day alone. Uh, which might be the burden, maybe money, honestly, because 
the four clubs is is you wanting your wants and and working harder or more than you need to because you have what you need but you want you want your wants uh then the financial loss you're going to have to go through uh something unpleasant to get through that the, so the burden may be money it might be money that the burden is or it can be something else it could be a person or a job or or whatever and it's just a burden to you now uh, you might feel like giving in to the burden and be like ah you know that's it that's that's just my life you know this burden is just a part of my life and i got to deal with it and then you know you could lose a lot doing that you know you could lose that whole ten of diamonds there uh by letting this burden take you over uh the cards say don't give up it, the burden will come to an end now also remember ending a burden a lot of times it's in our hands to end a burden right that that is true so Make sure that you don't, you know, that you don't have it in your power to actually end the burden yourself, which if it's money, going through that comfort zone would be an easy way to end that burden, you know, and get what you need financially. Uh, for others, it can be something else. Uh, let's see what the uh, tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned? Mm. Yeah, you got the uh, Five of Swords. So in the Five of Swords, this man, he is picking up the swords from a battle that they lost. And he's looking around trying to figure out where, where in this battle did we fail and lose it all? You know, and I feel like that's you. You need to be aware, very aware this uh, this week of, uh, you know, the thing like, like the financial loss. You need to, like, really look and see where did that go wrong and how do I fix it? You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta really stand there and really analyze what, what was going on. Uh, but he still has the swords. He still has the weapons, right, of the fallen soldiers to give to somebody new. Uh, so you definitely still have your tools uh, that you need, even if you have the financial loss. But you have the tools, and then you have some kind of unpleasantness that you can go through in order to make it rain, which would take care of the financials. But definitely uh, analyze your situations. You know, really break it down and make sure the burden isn't in your hands so there you go i hope this resonates i hope it helps in some way and if it does hit that like button and if you would please comment share and subscribe i hope to see you back here next week and until then stay safe stay mindful and stay healthy